RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Oh, I love this God. I don't know about your God, but my God is cool. <laughs> if your God is dead, come try mine. This God is good. We serve a dependable God. We serve a dependable God. Not a vague God. We Christians are the one that is vague. It's not God's problem that we don't know who He is. We serve a dependable God. We do not have a God that is vague, but that we have a very clearly defined God. Clearly defined principles. Daniel chapter 6. Thank you, Prophet. Daniel chapter 6, verse 5. Hmm. Then said these men, hmm. We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Ah, one more time. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, mm -hmm. except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Hmm. I explained to you in the last few weeks, which is now available on the app, by the way, about the group that was fighting Daniel was not ordinary people. I explained to you how Kings was raised by God to have rulership over his people. Very painful. And then we understood how that king would now raise leaders. So the king that God raised to rule raised other leaders including Daniel. It becomes very delicate because now it is the Lord who raised them. It is the Lord who brings elevation. It's very clear in the Bible. It is God who raises up kings and brings down kings. It is God. Because it is the God who raises up. The dilemma is that God didn't just raise believers up. He had raised unbelievers. People that did not even believe in His grace received grace. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> problem to Christians. <laughs> now, those guys started ganging up on who? Our brother Daniel. Now they start planning against our brother. Now what do you do? God has raised somebody up. And now those people that God raised have now come together and start plotting against the man of God. Have you ever been in such a situation where you felt God brought you to a job? The people that were at the job were supposed to bless you. But now the people that were supposed to bring joy to you are now coming together and they start fighting the very grace that was supposed to bless you. To be blessed has to be a choice. Yes. <laughs> to be deceived also <laughs> is a choice. Uh, it required Eve to get up and walk and converse and fellowship with the serpent. 
and even obey the suggestions of the serpent before Eve could then be qualified to be deceived. So God has a way of waiting to see that even though I raise these people, they must qualify now to lose the grace. This brings me to the jurisdiction of grace that the church is ignorant about. That the grace that we receive undeservingly is not undeserving. but it does not fall on people that are not deserving so don't confuse the word grace and say that it is is going to fall on any individual it still locates somebody that have consciously or subconsciously worked towards receiving that grace and therefore there is also a jurisdiction, a boundary, an expiry to that same grace that the Bible says God will not strive with man forever. Genesis 6. The reason why God is saying that is because there is a season where God strives with man. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 uh-huh. and the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man mm-hmm. for that he also is flesh uh-huh. yet his days shall be in a hundred and twenty years God is saying that I will not always strive with man and that word strive in Hebrew you will see the word dwell I will not always dwell will some other people translate it as I will not always shield man so there is a context to it God is saying that the, his heart is continually evil meaning there is a continuity of sin God is saying that I am not going to wrestle with him always I'm not going to continue to fight him I'm not going to continue to convict him I'm not going to continue to plead with him. I'm not going to continue to sing over him. Oof. There is an expiry to that grace. That this in this season of that grace, if he can respond to me, I will be a God to him. And he will be a son to me. So these people that are fighting Daniel need to understand that you can continue fighting Daniel, but there is a moment where the God who even elevated you to be able to fight his man. (laughs) In order for you to be able to fight him, God had to even had to give you a platform. But then when God sees that you are ignorant and without understanding, now God will have to remove that platform, remove that grace that even helped you to rise up against his servant in the first place. So there is a a beautiful thing that is happening here. And they come together with great intelligence. They come together with great understanding. They come together with great wisdom and they, they're deciding on how do we take this man down? How do we demote this man? You can only demote someone that you promoted. You can only bring down the one that you brought up. But if it is God that has invested into raising up a man, you can never, with all the investment you do, be able to bring that individual to God. 
So these guys are wise. You have to understand they are peer groups of intelligence. Although Daniel has greater advantage, they are also wise. They also have a certain level of mastery. And they study Daniel to say, if I need to bring him down, I need to study him. And then they concluded, I said, we can't find any other fault with him. We can't find any other errors with him. And the only area that we can find fault is in his law of God. Their investigation concluded with the guy is not lazy. The guy does his exercises. He eats right. We can't take him down in any of those areas. He's very diligent in his work. He is a hardworking man. He follows every instruction. So we can't take him down in his natural dimension. So now we need to focus on his spiritual dimension. But before I enter into that spiritual dimension, I want to ask you as believers, can that be a testimony about us? That your manager will look at you and say, I find no fault in his work. She's supposed to clock at 9 o'clock. She is there at 8.45. I can't find a weakness. I told her to go home early, but I'm paying her for 4 o'clock. She refuses to go home early. She is a hard worker. Sometimes people don't understand, before the enemy can start stealing from you, he will need you to break the natural laws of man. So Satan will instigate you to not do certain things so that he can have a spiritual advantage over you. So even sometimes when your friends are instigating you saying that it's okay, nobody will know, we won't let anyone know. You have to turn to them and say, it's okay, it's not about anyone knowing. It is about my spirit being right. I am going to do it the right way. Some people came and said, it's okay, this is just for coffee. And he refused to be bribed. <laughs> ah, but everybody takes bribe in my industry, but I am not everybody. This one you can do under the books, but I am not everybody. They looked through his financial transactions. They looked through his time, logging times. They looked through his character. They looked through his habits. They looked through his friendships. They couldn't find anything. There is a favor that locates you even if your manager does not locate you. There is a God that locates you even if your boss doesn't locate you. So when you're faithful in a location, promotion may not come in that location. But God has a way of making them fight you and fire you <laughs> so that he can put you in the right location Amen. that will appreciate your honesty, that will appreciate your integrity, and they will elevate you for who you are and who you were. And they don't know about it. They don't know about your last five years of hard work. They don't know about your last 10 years of diligence. But God has a good memory. Yeah. Can I declare this over you that God is remembering somebody? Amen. The Lord is remembering you. So now they turn their attack on another dimension. They turn their attack they said, this is not working. We can't find any faults in this area. So we must turn our attack to a place that bothers him. They studied his heart. They said, there is nothing that he cares more than the law of his God. Please, I want you to pay attention to the investigation of the enemy. They are not saying that 
let us attack his god they're saying that let us find mistake in the law of his god meaning there was a moment where their his walk with god was more than a bunch of belief system his walk with god was more than just religion there was a place where his walk with god had now become a law in his spirit <laughs> there is a place where your instructions from god can become a command in your spirit until an instruction from god has become a command in your spirit you have not really risen in the ranks of the spiritual dimension where now you are a threat to the enemy until the instructions in your spirit has now become a command in your spirit you have not risen in the ranks of the spirit where now you are a threat to the enemy the enemy is not scared of somebody that has a belief system the enemy is not scared of somebody that has a certain faith system the enemy is surely not scared of a bunch of people coming together and singing songs but the enemy is very scared of an individual that has heard an instruction from god in an another dimension and now they will take their obedience to another direction they've heard god in a dimension and now they take their obedience to another dimension they've heard god i want you to get this clearly they've heard god in a dimension more than anybody else some heard it as a suggestion some heard it as an opinion some heard it as a nice thing for you to do but this ones they heard it not as an opinion they heard it as a command now they're not following it as a suggestion they're following it as a command now they must automatically be elevated in this army <laughs> some of us for a long time we've been saying god elevate me promote me but probably it is not god waiting to elevate you God is waiting for you to take your obedience to another level. <laughs> so that when he sees the level at which you come in in the morning and he say present sir and in the evening you clock it and in the night times you clock it throughout the day you clock it and then god is looking at you and saying that you're no more functioning as an ordinary soldier your discipline is of a general your attention to details is of a general and oh brakata ra ba 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 your alertness to the things of god to the schemes of the enemy he set on another dimension you have qualified yourself to be promoted in the army you have qualified yourself to be elevated by grace 
you have qualified yourself to be trusted with more. Hello, I'm Tini Matthew. We are so glad that you could join us on this broadcast. Your elevation has not come because your mind has not been renewed. So I want you to declare today, I will not allow any hopeless thoughts to take over your mind. Remember, you have the mind of Christ. I look forward to hearing testimonies from what God has been doing through these videos. The good news is that you can be part of our online medium. Visit us on revivenations.tv and if you sign up, we will send a link to you for our services. Do messages on our social media platform and let us know where you're watching from. With much love, God bless you. Shalom. love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 